All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are opening up our discussion on now areas of circles. So the whole goal of this entire unit that we're going to be talking about over the next few videos is to be able to use the area formula to find area of a circle, use a, a portion of it to find what we call areas of sectors, and then we're going to look into a formula for population density, which is going to allow us to kind of uh, reference this to some real-world application. So first and foremost, let's, let's think about what we're going to focus on in this video specifically. Well, we're just going to simply kind of do a quick recap and definition of area, uh, and, and most of us by now will know that area of a circle formula for that, and we're going to be use it to, to find the area, maybe use the formula to find radius, maybe use the formula to find diameter, depending on what the situation is may be. So let's just recap, just kind of think here for a sec, right? You know, obviously, if I've got myself a circle here, when we're talking about the area, we're talking about all of the area that the circle encompasses as it is kind of drawn, right? So all of that area that is encompassed within the circle. So if you remember correctly back from your uh, way pre-algebra days, they, they opened up the topic of area of a circle as being pi r squared. Now remember, pi, pi, or pi, right, is just the, the relationship of the circumference and the diameter. Because remember, the circumference equals pi times d, pi times d. And so that if that's the case, then pi will just equal the circumference over the diameter. So we think of pi as the ratio of circumference over diameter here. And so in this, in this formula that we have, we're, we're taking that the area is pi r, and we're squaring it. Well, remember, we're squaring it because units are always squared when we're dealing with area, because area is the amount of square units we can fit in into a given space, right? And so that's what we're going to focus on here is this area of a circle. Now, specifically, we're going to dive into in, in later on what a sector of a circle is. And a little bit more mathematical scholarly wording, a sector of a circle is just the region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. Well, I don't know about you, that is an extremely scholarly definition um, that we're that we're diving on into there. So let's think of it in a little bit a uh, little bit easier realm. Sector of a circle. If here's our circle here, here's my center. Here's a radius. Here's another radius. So we have two radii. This right here is the sector of a circle. Right? Is the sector of a circle. So let's think about this. We've, we've discussed arc length a little bit in our last lesson. So this would be our arc length. So what I always kind of like to mess around with students is let's think about it in terms of food. And who doesn't love food? The green, all right, if, if, if the whole circle represents a pizza, right, if it's all a pizza, the green part, the arc length represents the what? Well, hopefully you realize that would be the crust of the pizza, right? And then the whole sector right here kind of represents a whole piece of the pizza, right? A whole piece of that entire pizza. So let's take a look at a couple of examples utilizing our area formula. It says it wants to know what the area of a circle is with a radius of 2.5. Well, pretty basic enough, you know, the area of a circle will be pi r squared, pi r squared. So in this example, we have pi times 2.5 all being squared. And, and that's it. That's the basic use of our of our area formula. And then we have 2.5 times itself or being squared is 6.25. And so we would have 6.25, 6.25 pi. And it doesn't really say what it wants it rounded to or anything. So we could leave it like that to be exact. Or if we were approximating it, it would be approximately 19.6 and centimeters squared for our units. So that's finding the area. 
Well, what about utilizing this concept to find a different part of the circle, like the diameter of the circle? Well, let's think about this. For part B, I know that area equals pi r squared. Well, what do I know about the diameter? Well, the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So if I can find the radius, I can then go ahead and find the diameter. And it gives us that the whole area is 113.1. So A, the area, is 113.1 square centimeters. That's equal to pi times r squared. So I find r, multiply it by 2, and I can get the diameter. So then I want to go ahead and get r squared by itself. So remember, pi is value. Pi is value there. So 113.1 divided by roughly 3.14 for our pi, we get that r squared is going to equal 36.0, uh, really, honestly. And then so we square root, square root, and then r is going to approximately be about 6 centimeters. So that means that the diameter is going to approximately be about 12 centimeters there.